Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anaid McDonald. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, then welcome back. Thank you. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you the Elate Uplift Foundation and that concealer. Unfortunately, I do not have the, the full size containers because I wanted, since it's a new brand for me, I didn't know the shades. So I saw, I saw on their website that they had, um, a sample kit with three foundations and three concealers and I went for it I bought um, I bought the samples of the concealer and the foundations um, this is what they look like they're super super pretty um, they do give you a really good amount of product in these samples like you can easily use them five times they're super super good um but yeah i wanted to check if i like them that the the consistency of the product the feeling of the product on my face and the shades so that's why i have only the samples like i have a lot of samples but they they are honestly amazing um you guys have no idea how amazing these products are i'm wearing the foundation the foundation is like the rms on cover-up foundation is like a moussey uh, texture but it doesn't feel like the rms like it is medium to full coverage definitely but it doesn't feel tacky on your skin I do not you guys know that I do not um, powder I do not set anything with powder and I have no powder and it just looks super super pretty the concealer the concealer is a little bit on the dewy side if you guys don't like that then you can easily set it with powder and you're done but I don't set it with powder and it did, do not crease it doesn't crease on my eye like it's it's just amazing amazing I have I don't know how much I can tell you or how many times I can tell you how much I love these products I'm definitely buying full sizes I even contour with one of the samples and oh my like it's so pretty like my whole face my cheeks are um uh, Ilya is not elate but um my cheeks are they look so pretty too guys I'm I'm loving this makeup today so if you guys want to see how I create this amazing, amazing look using Elate uh, Cosmetics, Ilia and some Cosas, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, I apologize first for not having the, like the real packaging of the uh, foundation and concealers. But I wanted to check the shades first. So I bought the sample pack, sample set uh, for the foundation and the concealer. So they sent me three and three. So it comes um, in with the box and then they send it in really pretty... Um, containers aluminum containers so i'm gonna i'm gonna separate the concealers and then the foundations and then they also sent me um powder blush 
So I'm going to start with the concealers. I have uh, in CW3. And then CN3. And CW4. So CW3 is for light to medium tones with warm undertones and then the CN3 is light to medium with neutral undertones and then CW4 is for medium tones with warm undertones. So I am gonna swatch them for you. So this is what they look like. I don't know if you can see. But um, they just look like that. So this is CW3, better here. This is CW3. And then I'm gonna swatch CN3, which is not, it's a little bit darker than that one, but not a lot. So this one is CW3, and then this one is CN3. And then CW4, this is definitely darker. And then CW4. CW3, CN3, CW4. I thought it was gonna be CW4, but, um, I like better CW3. Um, it's early in the morning and I'm tired. So now I'm gonna swatch the foundations. On the foundations, I have UN3, which is, I think, also light to medium neutral undertones. And then UW4, which is medium with uh, warm undertones. And then UN5, I'm not sure what's the description of this one, but I think it's medium to dark or medium with neutral undertones, I will think. So I'm going to swatch you. I already removed the concealer swatch. So I'm going to use UN3, which is the one that looks better for me. So they send you a pretty good amount of foundation. Like I could easily use it five times. And it's so like, I, I want you to see the consistency. Super, super creamy. I honestly love it. It is a lot like the RMS. Uncover up. You see, this is. So look at that consistency. Ah, super pretty. This is, this was you entering. They don't have, um, this is light to medium with neutral undertones. They don't have light to medium with warm undertones but it still looks good on me. This is uh, UW4. I honestly love the consistency of this. Oh, this is a little bit patchy. That's weird. Um, I don't know if you can see. This is UN, what? UW4. And then UN5 is definitely um, darker. And this one is way too dark for me. So it's, hold on. 
UN3 and then UW4 and UN5. So these are awesome. I honestly, this is not my first impression because I tried them as soon as I got them. I was so excited. I'm cleaning oh, the mess. I was so excited when I received them that I used them. But I am going to use so so I tried I tried the foundation and the concealer and what I was most surprised about was that the concealer didn't crease on me. It was amazing. Normally all concealers crease on me. Because I smile and then I have all the wrinkles and then I have super dry skin. So, and if I set them with powder, then it looks worse. But this one, it just looked super hydrated. I honestly loved it. So that's why I didn't want to wait to buy like the, the concealer and the foundation. I didn't want to wait to make the video until I bought them because I know with the uh, virus going on right now, I'm pretty sure like they're going to take longer to ship. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm assuming. And I didn't want to wait to make the video. So I will show it the show some pictures of how the containers look because they're super pretty. They're zero waste. They're, I think they're made of glass with bamboo uh, lids. They're super pretty. And uh, I'm definitely buying buying my my shades. But since it's a new it's a new brand for me, I honestly didn't know which shade I was. I was about to buy the four, and the four is dark on me. So I'm really glad I I'm really glad I was um they had the like the sample kit or sample packages um and it wasn't bad i think it was 15 dollars. i'm not sure but i'll put it on the description below and i'll put the link of um the elate website they are they do ship from canada so it does take um a while to a week and a half right to arrive it's not as fast as if it's inside the u.s but still um it's not bad but anyway so i'm gonna apply uh cw3 as my, my concealer and un3 as my foundation i'm gonna apply the foundation first Again, I didn't prime, I just have um, my creams and I don't know if you can see but I have here like really bad, I don't know what is it but I, it's been itching and I have like um, bumps and red, I don't know if it's an allergy or something but um some if the formula is very dry then it it makes it worse and then it kind of flakes and but this one didn't do that but um i'm just gonna apply it i don't even remember if i need this much but i'm just gonna go for it and i'm just gonna apply it with um foundation brush so with the amount of um with the amount of foundation i put it covers it's not super full coverage um with this amount 
but I'm pretty sure I can build it up. I'm gonna apply more because I wanna I do want a full fuller coverage. But again, it's still a lot of product that they send me. I used it yesterday and it still looks full. So it's honestly a really good amount on the samples. What do you like think? I like it a lot. I want it um, kind of like a like a mousse foundation, and I tried a sample of the um, of the RMS on cover up foundation, and I don't know why it is the the texture is super pretty, but I don't know why. I just, I like, I felt it, like I just started sweating. As soon as, as soon as I put it on, I started sweating and I felt like it felt like it was just sitting on top of my skin and it made it hot. And I don't know, during the day it was very pretty, but as what when I was applying it, like I would just feel it like warming on my skin and then it will make me sweat weird like I don't know I don't know if it's normal or it was just me but yeah it felt like like oh no I just want to remove it weird so I don't know if you can see but is um it's not super shiny it's not shiny at all like it's just pretty and it, it doesn't feel tacky at all nothing like i know the rms felt tacky but this one it just dries it feels dry it feels like my skin it's amazing really and i'll put the um, i'm really sorry because i don't have a lot of information but um uh, I'll put the um, price of the product of the foundation and the concealer on the description box because I don't have it right now, but I'll definitely put it and I'm definitely buying this foundation and the concealer, honestly. So I'm going to put the CW3 concealer and I'm just going to play with my fingers like I always do. Kind of shiny um i think it does stay like kind of dewy uh but it does a great job uh i think this is a good match for my skin but it does cover it does cover um it does a good job I don't know if you can see. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks very pretty. I like it. I'm hoping it will set onto my skin. I'm hoping it will uh, dry a little bit more and um, like leave a dry or a matte finish just like the foundation but I feel like I I could put a little bit more of the foundation there 
to cover a little bit more my dry, my red spots. Not bad. So I'm gonna use the, what is it? UN5 as my bronzer. I'm gonna take advantage of this. And I'm gonna use it as my bronzer because it's a good match for my bronzer. Again, you don't need a lot, like it's pigmented. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm gonna grab the same foundation brush. You see how pretty that looks? I honestly love it as my bronzer too. I'm gonna use my tart. I love it. So my concealer is still kind of shiny. I'm really, really hoping it will stop being shiny. For my oh, this blouse, this is why I don't wear these type of blouses because they just go up and they just go one side and they like, you have to be fixing them. Like I barely use this blouse, but that's why I will like, just wear it. I'm, I'm not going anywhere anyway. So for my blush, I'm going to use the Ilia Multi-Stick in shade Dreamer. I've had this for a while already. It's a very pretty like coral tone, orangey. I love oranges on my cheeks, honestly. And I'm just gonna use this um, real techniques. I'm just gonna go. This is not super, super, super pigmented, to be honest, but it looks very pretty still. Like it's just very, um, I don't know, very your skin. Sometimes I do go directly. You see, it's not super, super bright, super pigment. It has a very pretty shine. Okay, so my concealer is not changing. It is kind of dewy. But it doesn't feel tacky. Like it's not tacky at all. I don't know. I don't know. And it like it's not creasing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But they sent me. Um, oh, I forgot. I forgot. They sent me a. They sent me. They sent me a sample of a powder blush in uh, Triumph Chic Color. I think it's too purpley for me. Oh, no, too. I just don't use uh, powder blushes, to be honest, but they're kind of messy. It's kind of messy, but this is a pretty color. 
I don't know if I want to use it, to be honest. Sorry. It's a waste of sample. I'm so sorry. But I am going to use these Cosas um, eyeshadow. Just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and i'll be back okay i put um on my mascara and lipstick i use the um, color pop ultra matte lip in color bumble it's very pretty so everything is shiny i don't mind to be honest um i like it i do feel i want a little bit more um brightness on my eye i'm not gonna do anything i'm just gonna apply a little bit more concealer but again it doesn't feel tacky it doesn't transfer is just a dewy formula. I don't know if you guys can see, but my I have a issue with my curl being there on my forehead. But I'm gonna apply a little bit more concealer just to brighten a little bit more. Not that it's not super bright already because it's shiny, but but I don't know if I can explain like just bright like with more light, not dewy. There. It is a very pretty formula. If you are not into dewy um concealers then you might want to set it with powder i'm not gonna set it with powder because i don't mind to be honest um i haven't tried this one with mascara i don't know if um you saw my last video but i was trying on the air Paris avocado waterproof mascara and my test is always um, applying concealer without setting it with powder, and then most of my cons most of my most of my mascaras will transfer and will will leave raccoon eyes. So the Air Paris did the same, which is fine. I don't. I honestly don't mind. Um, but I haven't tried this concealer with my mascara. I use, I use the Mineral Fusion Waterproof Mascara. Uh, this, that's the most waterproof of the natural mascaras I've had. I'm still looking for another one. The Air Paris, I honestly didn't like, but I want to see how this performs during the day and then I'll uh, probably check with you guys later if not then I'll put it on the comments down below but this is um elate concealer and foundation is the uplift foundation and I honestly love it, love it, love 
the foundation. Way more than the RMS, way more than the Air Paris. I like the Air Paris a lot. The, um, the oat milk foundation, I like this a lot. It doesn't have a lot of coverage. It is, I think it's a light to medium one. But this one, this Elate one, is medium to full. And again, I didn't set it with powder because I never set anything with powder because of my extremely super annoying dry skin. And it doesn't feel tacky. It's amazing. I honestly love it. It gives me like this beautiful glow and I don't even need to wear a uh, highlighter with also with the Ilia um, multi-stick blush with this one like it just gives me a very pretty shine a very pretty glow that I honestly don't feel that I need a highlighter like this is enough but anyways um thank you guys for watching and i'm again i'm super super sorry that i don't have the like the the full size containers but i'll um i'm definitely buying the uplift uh foundation and the concealer because they're honestly really, really good products. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.